Following on from our previous two videos, we um, we started with this formula here, and we we, we wanted to uh, to know what what would happen to the force uh, if if we double the distance or if we half the distance, and then we rearranged it so it's blah 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 blah, and then we we came to the conclusion that the force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance uh, between the two objects. Now let's let's suppose. Hang on. Let's suppose now we want to investigate what would happen if we um, if we if we keep the distance the same and uh, we we keep the mass of the die the same, but then we change the uh, the mass of the stone. So what would happen if we double the mass of the stone? Okay, so so start with this formula here, um, and then and then visualize it as this. Um, uh, hang on, visualize it as uh, well. The g is the g is multiplying a. a a, uh, a fraction, so it gets multiplied to the top. So, uh, so visualize it as this: uh, g capital G capital M M over R squared. Now, now because we 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 want to vary the uh, the mass of the stone, um, we let's let's remove this M. Let's move it out, so it becomes this: um, g M over R squared, and then times M. Okay, so so this thing here. Uh, currently, we've got this bubble multiplying this bubble here. The thing is, because because our our situation, um, well, g here is always the same. It's just a really small number, and it doesn't change. It's, it's a constant. In our situation, the mass of the die is constant. We're not changing the mass of the die, and we are not changing the distance. So r so r here is constant. Uh, g here is constant. M here is a constant. It's only the the mass of the stone that that changes. So really, we we well this this whole thing here is just a number. It's just a number that doesn't change. And in our case, it's a number that we don't really care about. So let's just call it k for the time being. So it boils down to k times m. Okay. So the force is equal to k times m. Now, when, when you're told that y is directly proportional to x. You can immediately jump to y equals k x. Well, here this is your k. This is something that changes here. So, so from here you can actually say um, force is directly proportional to the mass of of the stone. So, so what that means is once once you're here, once once you're told this here, hang on. Once you're told that there, hang on. You can imagine this force. And this is the mass of the uh, of the stone here. Once you're told that f is directly proportional to to small m, you can you 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 know it's this kind of relate of a relationship. So when when you time when you double this, you will double the force. Um, when when you when you times this by by seven, then the force will will, uh, will be time will be multiplied by seven as well. When you half the mass. The force will be also will also be half. So so from from here you well if you want yeah so so if you double is is that kind of a, of a, of a relationship. So if you double the mass of the stone, you're going to uh, double the force. If you um if you times the the mass by sub well you you can use the same argument for the die as well. So what would happen if you keep this the same, keep this the same, and then change the um, the mass of the die? Okay.